so as promised um, now we are going to see how to build a multi module project using an existing arch type and you can see uh, that the how our uh, arch type is going to look like how our project is going to look like so we are basically going to have a parent module and two child module in there and each of these are going to have their own pomlet xml and the parent is going to have its own pomlet xml so in four uh, there will be one two three four pomlet xml file and uh, in the rest of the demos that i'm going to show uh, we're going to build this project scenario and we're going to split a large project into a web application that provides a user interface a service project that holds the service layer code a persistence project that holds your repository layer code So let's start the process by generating the parent project and the arch type pom root creates the um, zero dash parent folder and a pom root xml file un underneath it and as you'll see that uh, that the pom root xml that will be generated by uh, the next demo content and I'm going to show you something in the pom root xml about the packaging type. So let's go ahead and um, begin. So basically we're going to do the same thing. We're going to type maven arch type generate and we're going to provide uh, group ID as com zero maven artifact as zero parent version as 1.0.0 snapshot. Um, we're going to provide some something new called arch type group ID as org code host mojo arch types and arch type artifact id as uh, pom dash root now this is different from the artifact id artifact id is zero parent and our arch type artifact id is pom root this is basically telling you that it's a it's the parent project or it's a root project so once we do that um, we are basically ready if you notice we didn't provide any uh, interactive mode so it's basically it's not going to ask you anything unless you made a mistake it's going to ask you so for example when i was making this video i mistyped artifact id and it asked me to fix that so i fixed it and corrected the edited the video for you and um, basically now it'll run and uh, create a new project so it types it will show you generating project in interactive mode and the only thing it's going to confirm from me is uh, whether the group id artifact id version that i provided is correct or not i'm just going to type yes and it's going to create the uh, parent project for me now after this whatever we're going to build we're going to build it inside this parent project so now that you've created the parent project make sure you uh, cd into the parent project that is cd zeros dash parent and now we're going to create a web project by running the command in the terminal and during this web project generation you are basically providing the maven coordinate group id version and so on as uh, parameters generate the goal and this is going to create the uh, web project so let's proceed and see uh, how to achieve that so the first thing i'm going to do as i said is i'm going to switch to zero parent because uh, the web project is a child so i just moved into zero parent folder and i'm going to do the basic command that we have been doing so far um, that is a maven arch type generate group id is going to be again the same com 0.maven i'm just going to keep the group id same but if you want you can change it you can call it com 0.maven.web if you want but this is just a demo so i'm just creating whatever i feel like and um, then i'm going to create the artifact id 0-web i created the version as uh, 1.0.0. snapshot now uh, don't worry too much about uh, all this uh, things that i'm going to provide here because if you forget some and if something is mandatory the interactive mode is going to prompt you for that and make sure that you provide package type 
as a war and then again we're going to provide a ours type artifact id that is maven ours type uh, web app now this is important because um, what's going to happen is if we don't provide this it's going to sh come up with an interactive mode and ask you to choose a default ours type so i've already provided uh, ours type artifact id because i don't want to go through the long list and figure out what is the correct id to create a web app so i already knew uh, if not, you can just go and uh, look over in the web. So uh, it has created our uh, web project for us. So let's move on to the next step now. So the next step is to create a service project. And uh, basically we are going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to just make use of uh, my old code. but before that make sure you're still in the zero parent folder and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a plain old Java project and I'm going to change my arch type artifact ID as maven arch type quick start and I don't need to provide a package type because by default it's going to be jar and I'm going to name rename my artifact ID to zero service and I believe that's it um, Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm going to for this. I'm going to set arch type artifact ID uh, interactive mode equals to false. So you may add that, or if if not, it's going to ask you for a confirmation. So uh, just for the demo purposes, I'm going to add it in so that you can see how it's going to behave. And uh, now it's building the project, and you'll see that it has provided that so far my previous build order is zero parent zero web maven web app so first it's going to build the parent project uh, then it's going to build the web and then it's going to build the service project for you 